Check 7.6 fill data array. We want to fill in the array with the values that would be stored after our code executes. So first we declare this array with size eight, and then we're gonna fill in the elements. So at index zero, we know it's three. Index seven, it's eight, negative 18. Pretty easy so far. We have three, negative 18. Index four is five. And then at index one, we have the element that's at data zero. The element at data zero is three. So that means at index one, we are gonna have three. Int x is equal to data four. So we're creating a variable here and we're setting it to the element at four, which is five. So x is five. And this is gonna come into play down here. Index four is equal to six. So we can see that we're updating this, changing it to six. Data five. So that means x, right? Because remember we said x is five. At index five, we're gonna have data zero times data one. So three times three is gonna give us a nine. Now remember when we declare an array and if we just give it the size, everything is initially zero until we fill it in. So that means the rest are gonna be zero. We can submit and then we pass eight out of eight tests. So that's how I would look at this. Practice it, self-check 7.6, fill data array.